Hi guys, I wanted to make an update here on my uh, bow thrust install video I did a few months ago. I didn't really show the um, actual setup of wiring and um, controls. It was more like focus on the specific uh, fiberglass. I think fiberglass is probably the task that scares the most people when they want to do like a bow thrust install. So. Um, I'm going to show you more in details how I did the uh, installation, so enjoy! Okay, let's start with take a look at the helm up here. So I mounted the small max power control panel up here to the right. Uh, pretty simple job, it's just like drilling a hole and mounting with two screws I believe. Uh, operation is quite simple, to turn it on you just press both button down systems activated you can you go right or left to turn it off again you're just gonna hold down two buttons and hear the two two loud very loud beeps so moving down to the cabin to go check out the actual installation okay we are down in the cabin now I just removed this cushion here cushion behind me we're gonna take a look at the actual install of the bow thruster so coming down here to the small compartment that wasn't really very useful because it's quite difficult to move the uh, the big cushion so we have the of course 12 volt battery power trust itself the battery is mounted on this um, plywood uh, bracket i made it's glassed in on top and bottom of course everything is, is glassed in nice and um, secure so the bar thrust itself sits on, of course, the tunnel and then the instructions suggest that you make some kind of bracket up here to support it while you're on the way so you won't have like forces tilting the, uh, the thruster back and, back and forward. So I made this, this is made out of uh, polycarbonate, I have a small um, CNC, CNC um, milling machine, so it's quite easy. Um, the controls is down here. Uh, wiring why so I have this circuit breaker down here 200 amps this should be plenty uh, I normally turn this on and off every time I use the boat so keep it off while the boat is just stored um, so you just have to do your positive terminal going into it and over to the thruster and the negative is just directly to the thruster um, charging wise so instead of so instead of um, running wires all the way from the rear of the boat where the main batteries are all the way up here it's quite expensive it's quite hard to to um, to pull off these wires I um, mount this small um, battery charger up here so actually this boat has, has two battery chargers now one for the main batteries and one for just the um, cloth across the battery um, so it's just connected to the if you look at my electronics panel i have this called outlets so outlets of course just for these two outlets and um, so every time i'm in, in the marina it's plugged in the boat it's going to charge the batteries um, and of course i'm not going to have i'm not going to have um, I'm not going to charge the batteries while I'm having the engines running, but this uh, battery is about it's about 55 amp hours, so it should give me about like 15 minutes of uh, continuous run of the bow thrusters. That's more than plenty, so I'm okay with just like charging the the batteries while I'm in the marina, and then uh, have a much simpler and cleaner install than um, than drawing these these cables all the way through the boat. So that's about it. Um, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the first video and I hope that you will try to do your own install. It's not really that hard. I mean, the fiberglass is of course a lot of work. You need to be careful. You need to, to read a lot of stuff about how you, how you handle it correctly. But it's not really that hard. It's not. Um, it's definitely worth doing it yourself, saving a lot of money, and um, it's quite quite fun to cut a huge hole in your boat and uh, 
and enjoy your work when you are parking the boat in Marina. Uh, it's so much easier now. So thank you guys for watching and um, see you soon. Bye.